I've just been privy to a demo and a live hands-on session with, with Horizon Zero Dawn, one of the big games here for Sony at E3 2016. For those who are sort of unfamiliar, have been lost in a cave or something, sure. <laughs> what is Horizon Zero Dawn? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is an action RPG game set a thousand years after the fall of modern civilization. And we see humanity is no longer the dominant species. Now, instead, there are powerful machines that roam the land and the humans that survived have to deal with that as their new life situation. I think it's interesting because you've been saying this RPG all along, yeah. but t today finally we got to see a lot of those sort of elements that we take for granted in RPGs and we'd seen a lot of action before, but can you tell us of, of the sort of the depth that goes into sort of the world and, and the options that are available to Alloy? Sure. Uh, so we have a lot of game systems that you can use to improve your character. We have outfits that you can use uh, that have different stats on them. Uh, there are modifications that you can get for your outfits and for your weapons. There's additional tiers of weapons with different ammo types. Uh, there's a skill point system that's very robust that allows you to customize your character. Some of the things that you've seen in some of our demos are utilizing skills that you purchase through that system. And so it unlocks new ways to play uh, in addition to new uh, ways to fight when you get new uh, new weapons. Another interesting thing, because you are a quest designer, so yeah. I'd like to ask this, but because what we see in these demos are of course very sort of focused stuff. How sort of, what's the structure in terms of like main quest, side quests, what what kind of, what can we expect? Sure, uh, we're not going to go into a lot of detail about exactly what quests we have, but we do have uh, main quests, we do have side quests, and we have kind of a hierarchy where our main quest is kind of global in terms of scope and it, it affects the whole world. And then we have another tier of quests that kind of deal with the tribes themselves and you can think of those as kind of operating at the national level. And then below that we have individual stories. So you'll come across people that have personal problems, crises in their lives, things that have gone wrong for them, and Aloy is able to step into those situations and help them out in a very meaningful way. So we run the entire gamut from the big picture to the individual. Another thing that's interesting about this game is the ecosystem that's there, the machines, the animals, sure. humans, and how they all interact. Uh -huh. uh, what, what would you say, what, what's the inspiration for this and why is it sort of important to have this in the game and not just have sort of enemies or, or things like that? Sure, uh, well the, the inspiration, the game's been in development for many, many years going all the way back to 2010 uh, as a studio, Guerrilla really wrestled with the concept and, and settled on something very similar to what you see on, on the screen right now. There is a robot ecology as you mentioned and uh, it's very important to the story and, and figuring out what exactly all these machines are, where they're, where they're here and how we got to the situation is one of the core mysteries that you'll be exploring when you play Horizon Zero Dawn the next year. All right, and the date is? Uh, February 28th, All right. 2017. Thank, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. This machine, it looks ancient. Where did it come from? Ooh.